Welcome to this Windows Server Basics video. In these videos, I will go over basic concepts related to the administration of Windows Server. In this video, we're going to talk about Active Directory account logon restrictions. You can configure an Active Directory user account's properties so that the account can only be used to log on during specific times and to specific computers. In addition to restricting rights and permissions delegated to the account through group policy and other settings, you can also simply limit which computers the account can be used with and the times when an account can be used. Log on hours and the computers to which an account can log on to are another application of the idea of principle of least privilege. The privilege you're restricting here is when and where the account can be used and it provides you with another option in the many layers of security you can apply in Active Directory environments. Generally, you wouldn't bother doing this with average user accounts, but it is a definite option for further locking down accounts used by administrators. The easiest way to configure logon hours is to edit an account's properties in Active Directory users and computers. Here I right click on an account named Kangaroo. On the account tab, I select Log on Hours. This provides a graphical interface in which I can configure allowed and denied log on times. By default, blue represents that log on is permitted. I select Log on Denied. This will block the account from logging on at any time, any day of the week. I draw a box in this weekly calendar and then set it so that log on can occur between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m., Monday to Friday. I choose OK. I then choose the Log On To option. By default, the account can be used to log on to all computers. I switch this to the following computers. For the Kangaroo account, I allow only log on to computer Tailwind MBR1. I click OK and close out the properties of the Kangaroo user account. I now edit the properties of the Wombat user account. For this account, I set the log on hours to be from 7.30 p.m. in the evening through to 4 a.m. in the morning any day of the week. I configure the Wombat user account so that the account can only be used to log on to computer Tailwind MBR2. Now that we've configured the log on restrictions for the Kangaroo and Wombat accounts, let's test how these work in practice. I switch to computer Tailwind MBR2 and attempt to log on using the Kangaroo user account. I get a message informing me that the account is configured to prevent you from using this PC and that I should try another PC. This is because the Kangaroo user account can only sign onto Tailwind MBR1. I try to log on to Tailwind MBR2 using the Wombat user account because this account is configured to allow log on to this computer and the time of day in my lab is 8.22 p.m which is after the 7.30 p.m. allowed time, I am able to successfully log on. But let's check that those time restrictions work. I log the Wombat account out and return to Active Directory users and computers. I alter the allowed log on times for the Wombat account so that the account can only be used between midnight and 4 a.m. I return to Tailwind MBR2 and try again to log on as Wombat. This time I get a message indicating that time restrictions prevent me from signing on at this time and that I should try again later. And that's how you configure user account logon time and computer location restrictions in Active Directory.